Hi friends, I am here today to talk to you about probably the most requested topic that I've had all year, which is this crazy contraption, the DJI Osmo. Now the Osmo is a handheld robotic gimbal stabilized camera made by the same company that makes all of these drones. So many of you want to see more footage from this thing and today I'm not only going to give you some, I'm going to show you two amazing new DJI Osmo accessories that I've discovered. And the best part of all is that I'm bringing you all of this from the Philippines. Right now I'm at the Funny Line resort in the Palawan region and it's amazing. I've been here for about a week now and I'm gonna have a bunch of amazing Philippines vlogs coming up obviously. I'm actually gonna make a bit of an announcement at the end of this video about exactly what's going on down here um, but for now we'll start with DJI Osmo accessory number one which is this crazy contraption. Looks like a selfie stick. It's not a selfie stick. This is called the baton extender for the DJI Osmo. Now when I first saw this I thought it was just another extender or grip that would hoist my Osmo into the sky, but it's actually designed to extend the distance between the brain and the body of the Osmo. So yes, this actually disconnects and then the extender actually turns your Osmo into a stabilized gimbal giraffe. You simply attach each end as such and there's little white lines to help you line everything up. Tighten it down, attach the head of the giraffe. It's a simple surgical procedure. And the best part is that the nervous system of the giraffe is still going to work thank you to this fancy transmission chip. Please allow me to explain technology. So while the Osmo is going to give you somewhat of a wide shot, and I do love this thing because the shot isn't too terribly wide, this will allow you to show off even more scenery, wider shot without creating the curvature of the lens that uh, let's face it, you see on the GoPro. And because the controls are right down here at your fingertips, you still maintain complete control of the Osmo. Oh yeah. Another reason I love the Osmo so much is the drone-like footage that it's able to capture, and this too is only enhanced with the added height enabled by the extender. So say you're on top of a Filipino jeepney driving through the Cordillera region immediately prior to a super typhoon. With this one additional accessory, you're able to greatly enhance that flying through the air feel that the Osmo can create. Very cool piece of gear and I'm happy to have it in my collection and I'm so glad I brought it here to the Philippines because this footage is like blows my mind. I cannot wait to edit this video. And of course, I will link to this product in the video description and on my blog at ama.tv so you can check it out and see if it might be right for you and your Osmo. Now I've talked before about the Osmo extension arm in this video and this super mounting system. And if you want your Osmo to reach its full production potential, both of these are absolutely important to pick up because they enable you to attach an external mic, which you absolutely need because it's no secret by now that the Osmo audio is pretty bad. So once the mic is mounted, you attach it right here. So with the mount and the mic, the audio is no problem at all. Here I've got the Rode shotgun mic. I've also heard that the Rode Video Micro is a great option and a bit smaller. Now that first video was more of an unboxing of the accessories, so I didn't have the best configuration figured out, but I since flipped the cold shoe mic upside down so you can mount the mic on the bottom and then that left the other cold shoe mount available for say, a light. Now I haven't been able to find too many interesting options for lights until until this amazing new company in San Diego, where I live, created this awesome little nugget. It's called the LumaCube or LumCube, but either way you say it, it sounds like LumaCube. Great design, micro USB charging, standard tripod mounting screw. Now this thing not only provides illumination for video, very bright, whoa, um, it syncs for flash photography, and wait for it, it is waterproof, which means nothing when working with the Osmo, because the Osmo is not waterproof, but imagine what you can do with it with your GoPro. So say you're in a cave on an island hopping excursion in the Philippines, and you find this dark, trippy cave to be a little bit dim and a little bit scary. Luma Cube to the rescue. I'm in the cave. There's still some light coming in from the outside. But if I were deeper in this cave, this would come in handy. Whoa, without the light, with the light. Look at that. I'm in a cave. Yeah, without this thing, these shots would have not been made possible. Awesome. Awesome indeed. And if you pick up the cold shoe mount adapter made by LumaCube, you are then able to mount your cube to the Osmo or say on top of a DSLR camera or anything with a cold shoe mount. 
pretty convenient. And if you're thinking you only need a light in like super dark conditions, it's absolutely not true. You could have direct sunlight that's also gonna cast shadows on certain sides of your face and this works great as a fill-in light. So it's gonna give you that nice overall glow that's gonna make you look great. It's gonna make your subjects look great. And it's gonna be much easier to film because you won't be constantly looking for the best lighting. You'll have it right here. I do plan to utilize the underwater capabilities of this thing. I'm just waiting for the right moment and something tells me I will find it here in the Philippines. So although I am blessed with lovely lighting here at the Funny Lion in this room, which is like the perfect setup for filming, I will show you a clip of what all of this looks like, audio included. And if you're just catching up on the Osmo, this is the bracket that holds your iPhone. Your iPhone works as the monitor on the Osmo. The iPhone doesn't record the video. This records the video, but you attach the monitor here. Sometimes I don't do that. At first I was like, oh, I've got to attach my phone and the monitor and use the app and blah, blah, blah. But once you get used to the Osmo, and like how it films. I think for the most part, you can just kind of guess what it's seeing and it's a lot less hassle to not have to use this. So here we are with the LumiCube on my face. Woo. Here it is without, here it is with, there it is brighter, there it is brighter. Ah! You don't need all that. No, nobody needs all that. Ah, this one, it's a nice dim one. I think it works well. And if this lighting wasn't so great here at the Funny Lion, I would need this probably. So while we're here and we're talking about gear, I'll go ahead and give you a quick rundown of all the gear I brought on this trip to the Philippines. Um, it's tough because every single trip I have to make careful considerations about what to bring and what not to bring. I would love to bring everything, but I can't because I also have clothes and I'm a girl and I have products and makeup and nail polish and all kinds of stuff. So I had to leave some things behind. I left my DSLR behind, but I did bring the Canon G7X. I'm filming on that right now. Um, I'm recording audio on my lav mic that plugs into my iPhone. And again, I will link to all of these products in the video description and on amy.tv. So of course I brought my GoPro, absolutely necessary, in the Philippines with the underwater blackout waterproof housing and the flotation grip. Very important that you have some sort of flotation device attached to your GoPro if you're using it in open water, unless you're able to dive down to the bottom. I did see people diving, or not diving, like snorkeling yesterday with uh, you know, their GoPro just on selfie sticks. And I'm thinking, what if you drop that? You're just gonna go down and get it or, or what? Just gonna say goodbye. And when I'm not in the water, I've got this awesome telescopic monopod. Some would call it a selfie stick. I like to call selfie sticks self-sufficiency sticks because that means you're able to film whatever you want without having to ask someone to hold the camera. Um, and this is a super sturdy one. I call it a monopod because it is a monopod for one and it functions very much like a tripod. So you can get that super telescopic footage that is so fun. There's all kinds of stuff you can do with this. I mean, you can get wide. I've got my Gorillapod, which I use as the standard grip for my G7X. It's great because you hold it as a grip and the grip actually provides a little bit more uh, stabilized footage. And you can pop it up as a tripod. If you want to get a shot, you can wrap it around things, all kinds of things. This thing is very versatile. And then of course, I've got multiple SD cards, hard drives, battery packs, and my MacBook Pro, which is my everything. So now that we've covered gear, this brings me to my announcement. So I came down here about 10 days ago to Manila to a travel blogger convention called TBEX. And it was amazing. And then after that, I did a post Bex tour um, up north on that island to the Cordillera region, where I got to see these ancient rice terraces in a town called Banaue. And it was, oh gosh, such an awesome trip. It was like everything I needed, all of this nature. And unfortunately, we had to be evacuated out of there a little bit early because if you've been watching CNN, there have been three typhoons in the Philippines since I've been here. And that last one was really bad. I mean, they were calling it a super typhoon. And um, with the help of the Philippine Tourism Board, we got the heck out of there and back to Manila a little bit early. So I then came down to the islands. Um, I'm in the Palawan region on the island of Caron right now. And I was actually supposed to leave today. Uh, my flight was today. But you know, I was here and as you know, when I set out to go to Burning Man, I moved out of my apartment in San Diego and I was like, at the time I was like, okay, at the end of October, I'm gonna go back to San Diego and find a new apartment. I wanted to switch apartments anyway. And I like to take breaks in between apartments. It's one way that, you know, enables me to travel. But you know, I'm here and I'm just like, this is amazing. This country's amazing. There's still all of these travel bloggers. 
here, you know, like we'll just keep running into each other at hotels and resorts and on tours. Like I ran into somebody that was on my Cordillera trip like in the water yesterday. So it's kind of like I've got, you know, a handful of friends here and it's so cheap to stay here and uh, it's just everything I need right now. The nature is just beyond and there's so much more to see. So long story short, I changed my flight and I'm staying for two more weeks. So I'm just going to be kind of chilling out, working, editing videos, um, chilling. I want to do some yoga. I don't really know what I'm doing. So all I know is that I'm here and I would love to hear from you guys. If you have ever been to the Philippines or if you want to go to the Philippines, tell me, you know, where you've been or where you want to go, where you think I should go. And uh, thanks so much for watching, you guys. This channel has been man, so much fun, so much fun to continue to work on. And I just hit 1 million views. I wasn't even really paying attention to the uh, view count and I just like noticed it. I was like, wait, there's like an extra digit on my views. So yeah, 1 million views, so that's exciting. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to follow along on all the videos that I'm going to be creating. Um, I very much appreciate your support. I get the best comments and feedback from you guys and I love you guys for it. Um, I'm going to continue to upload as much as possible, but I do have a concern well, a lot of bloggers here have this concern. The Wi-Fi here is, I mean, bad. And like blogging is one thing, but to upload a video to YouTube takes so much bandwidth. And um, today I'm flying back to Manila for like a three hour layover. So I'm shooting this and I'm gonna try to upload it there today. But after that, I hope I get a video up. But if I don't, don't worry, I'm fine. You can follow me on Instagram, follow me on Snapchat, follow me on Twitter. I probably won't tweet that much, but I'll be around. Um, but if there's not a video yet. All that means is that I'm editing and I will have so many videos posted like the second I get back to the States or if I can find good Wi-Fi somewhere. If you know where there's good Wi-Fi in this country, please let me know because it's not, you know, it's not a matter of, oh, I'm staying at a nice resort. They should have good Wi-Fi. It's not a matter of that. I've discovered it's just, I don't know what it is. Just the, the country doesn't have very good Wi-Fi, at least not for a video. I mean, you know, I need a lot. I need a lot of Wi-Fi and a lot of coffee. So that is all. Check out the product links in the description and make sure if you are gonna buy these products to use my links because then Amazon gives me like a tiny bit of money so I can buy more products or mangoes here or SD cards. I need more SD cards already. So yeah, do that. I appreciate it. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.